Basically, we are discussing about Mohrath today. And this lecture, we are dedicating to Narada Muni. And you should aware about the uh, contribution of Narada Muni in Jyotish. Okay, so maybe after this lecture, you can read about Narada Muni and his contribution. He has written uh, books or uh, text. Okay, all these things are, some are available with us. I am talking about Jyotish text. So, Narad Muni, we are dedicating this lecture because uh, initially we have planned that on the occasion of Guru Purnima, I will do seven lectures for our Rishi and Acharyas. Uh, yes, uh, we will provide the link. Okay, so don't worry, we will uh, maybe between next two, three days, we will receive the link. So, now before I start my lecture, today Sri Gagandhi Bharti Ji available with us and he will also talk on small topic of uh, Mohrath, okay, especially on the Navtara, okay, or Tarabal, we can call it Tarabal, sorry, Tarabal and Chandrabal. So, these two topics are very, very uh, important, especially when we deal with the Mohrath. Also, same topics we can use in the natal horoscope, correct? So, on this, on these two topics, uh, he will deliver small lecture. And after that, I will continue my lecture. And depending on the uh, availability of time, I will decide the topic. Okay, so I can talk on <coughs> planning your day astrologically. Or second topic is Muhurata, applying Muhuratas for the disease, okay, for the health issues, all these things. Okay, so any of these topics we can discuss today, depending on the available of time, availability of time. So, before I hand over uh, to Gandeep, I will explain uh, just background about the Muhurat, okay, so that uh, because many of you are beginners, okay, so you need to understand this, in Jyotish, okay, we have different branches, okay, so the very first is Gola, anybody heard about this name, Gola, G-O-L-A, Gola means this is a branch of uh, Jyotish which deals with the observational astronomy. Observational astronomy comes under the Gola part. And then we have Ganita. Okay, Ganita means ob uh, astronomical and astrological calculations. This is also the uh, part of Vedic astrology. And then we have Jataka, okay, the third branch, Jataka. Jataka means natal astrology that we are learning and then we also have prashna prashna means horary astrology these are some branches of vedic astrology we also have muhurata muhurata is also one of branch okay so muhurata in english we can also call it electional astrology then at the end we have nimitta nimitta is also one of the branch nimitta means Omens. So, this every branch of Jyotish is uh, complete in itself, okay, and deals with completely different subjects. Okay, so when we talk, when we say Vedic Jyotish, so it contains everything, not only natal horoscopy. So, now if you know this whole branches, okay, we have Gula, okay, observational astronomy, then calculative part. Then natal horoscopy, prashna, nimitta, and this uh, murat, okay, electional astronomy. So, you need to understand that in any of these subjects, you will not find remedies, okay, remedy related uh, branch. We have many texts from many books that talks on natal horoscopy, okay, but you will not find any uh, single chapter or uh, dedicated any classical book, okay, which talks on remedial part. Okay, some chapters you will uh, find in the BPHS, okay, and that in those chapters, like for example, Balarist, okay, or Nakshatra Gandhant, 
these are some topics you will see remedies related to these topics are given in bphs small small remedies are discussed in the chapter of mahadasha okay dasha adhyay you will find like maharishi parashar is saying okay during the dasha of sun mahadasha and saturn and dasha we should do mrityunjaya homa okay so these remedies are based on dasha okay so like this here and there you will find some tidbits of remedies okay but there are no clear cut indication clear cut indication of how to arrive or how to uh, conclude or how to create your remedies correct if anybody know like yes this this is a particular class book which deals with the remedies we can type in the chat section okay so i can also read that book but the branches which i just uh, uh, even with the names of the branches now like jayaraji texted siddhan samhita and hora okay these are majorly we have three okay and further we have divided these three things in this uh, gola murat and nimit all this comes under this these three main categories only okay now the question arises if remedies are not discussed in any of these branches then how we are suggesting these remedies say i am not talking about research okay or modern discoveries okay all those things i am talking about purely on the classical basis or what is available in our vedas or we call it vedic jyotish so whatever comes under the vedic jyotish if you see those things you will realize that remedies are not discussed the kind of remedies which we are using nowadays okay those those things are not discussed in any of these branches in olden days how how they used to do remedies or how they uh, perform their actions like let's say if anybody is uh, having any malefic yoga in horoscope then there what kind of remedy they they are following you need to understand these things okay so as per me if you see this whole system this particular branch muhurata okay see muhurat and vastu these two systems is a original remedial uh, systems that is available in vedic jyotish okay so maybe some of you will feel okay how muhurata is a remedy okay, so you need to understand like i will give you one context you must have heard the name of acharya varamahir so the most famous books which is available with us right now that is brah samhita and brah jatak we have lagu jatak also that is a, a mini version of brah jatak we can call it okay so majorly these two three books we have but there are more than 10 15 other books also available okay written by varamahir okay that rarely we follow okay there is a one classical text of varamahir which is known as vivaha patal okay and that vivaha patal text is available in two variation one is brahad vivaha patal and lagu vivaha patal okay so that is a only book available in the classical form that deals with the marital or relationships marriage all those things are discussed in that book okay purely astrological book okay so in one of chapter he says now I understand this what i'm saying if anybody in in anybody start if you see seventh house okay seventh house lord and the karaka planet of marriage or relationship if all these parameters are afflicted then we go for remedies but the classical approach for this kind of situation you need to understand they say you can still rectify it okay, without any remedy if you are born with this combination that can spoil your relationship okay you have easy and better way to deal with now what to do so varamahir says you know we have shoda sanskar okay there are sola the 16 samskar what we call in english i don't know samskara means anybody know what is samskara like we have shoda sanskara correct namakarana sanskar from from birth to death okay antim sanskar rituals yeah we can call it ritual there are 16 rituals major 16 rituals in our uh, hindu tradition the okay, vedic tradition okay out of these 16 rituals there is a one ritual vivah samskar that is a marriage ritual 
we call it ritual okay samskara you know if you want to master muhurata you need to understand this sola 16 rituals okay then you only you can understand this whole concept of muhurat okay in the 16 rituals the marriage ritual or the viva samskara you know in viva samskara what we do we go to pandits and we ask them for the good muhurata for marriage okay what was vicious time for the marriage okay for tying the knot mangal sutra okay we also ask auspicious time for the that fire ritual during the marriage okay fero ke liye bhi time lete hai na wo bhi murat nikalte hai you know what is happening this ritual of marriage okay is a kind of a new birth for you okay it means that auspicious time which in which uh, the particular time in which you uh, do that ritual okay fera or that oh, mangal sutra tying okay that uh, the knot of uh, that holy thread that muhurata becomes your new horoscope okay which decide the fate of your whole relationship i have not seen anybody following this this kind of uh, jyotish okay we we ask muhurata okay we do some marriage ceremony that's it okay but we never utilize this muhurata so it means next time whenever you see if anybody is facing any difficulties in the relationship matters okay or if you see in any horoscope that these parameters are afflicted okay what you can suggest them okay the best muhurat or the auspicious time for that particular ritual okay if that muhurat see you can't choose 100 percent or zero error or without any dosha muhurat okay some dosha is still there okay but at least you can reduce it to maximum correct so that's why it's a duty of jyotishi this is the duty of every astrologer that they should come up with the accurate or the most suitable auspicious time for the ritual of marriage okay if that marriage happens during that particular time okay that will reduce at least 60 to 80 percent of all doshas available in your birth chart that is a kind of a free will that God has given us. Okay, it means for every major activity, you can go for Murata. Okay, and even even you know, in olden days they used to keep horoscopes also for those samskaras. Garbadhan samskar. This is another samskara. Okay, which is important. We have Aksharabhyasa samskara. Aksharabhyasa means what? The first time when kids or uh, used to write or they they start learning from that day we call it akshara bhyasa okay that we that we still follow in india okay we have also done it so the auspicious time which is selected for that akshara bhyasa okay if you create horoscope for that particular moment that will show you your progress okay what kind of education you are going to get okay how is your journey in your education all those things you can easily analyze and you can easily make predictions for those things from Akshara Bhyas Mura. So next time, let's say if in your horoscope, your fourth house is reflected, okay, your Saturn Mars are reflected, what does it show? It shows that you will not have good combinations for the property. Am I correct? These are the things. Okay. So what do you say? Okay, property is not prom promised in my horoscope. So uh, I will not buy any house or it will be difficult. So, suggest me some remedies. So, people go and ask astro astrologers, they will give some stupid kind of remedies. Okay, those are self generated remedy or they have created this kind of remedy without any basis. Like if Mercury is afflicted, go and walk in the green grass or park. So, your Mercury will get boost. Okay, so you need to understand that your horoscope, whatever placement you see in your horoscope, okay, those are because of your karmas it, that you have already done in your past life. You can't change it. You have your own free will. From that free will, you can only act for your kriyamana karma or whatever activities you are doing right now. Okay, those karmas you can do better. Okay, so from your present actions, your future is going to create. And the situations 
the circumstances whichever you are facing right now that is because of your past karma that your horoscope shows so when you say okay my mercury is afflicted and let's go every morning to park okay and walk on green grasses and mercury is my mercury is getting better that is the complete stupidity okay so it's better you see this whole concept in holistic manner and the easiest remedy is this mohurat okay consider see this mohurat concept as a remedial part then you will realize the power of this mohurat mohurat is not just only picking the auspicious time okay that should uh, what we call that should tally with your horoscope also okay so if my chart is showing okay i don't have any combinations for the property purchase then still depending on your free will you can still buy your property but your horoscope is showing okay if you buy your property okay that will not stay with you forever so the middle part is choose your property okay buy your property at the auspicious time okay that will reduce at least 60 70 80% percent of negativity that is the beauty of mohurat that's why we we use this mohurat shastra clear so it means mohurat is a kind of a subject which can reduce uh, negative doshas to some extent in uh, present in your horoscope plus your free will when mohurat plus free will combined together you can see it will act as a remedial part okay same vastu is also following the same principle okay these two are greatest remedial uh, tools available with us okay but we are ignoring it or we are using it wrongly okay so when varameher write these things like you should see your horoscope it means during uh, that auspicious mohurat which you selected for your marriage okay if you create horoscope for that particular moment that is your horoscope only that will show your upcoming journey in your marriage it means you can create horoscope for any major events okay that is a extended horoscope you can call it so it means let's say uh, maybe after gagandeep bharti's lecture okay if i take health related topic then i will show you if your horoscope shows that your sixth house your saturn okay your sun all are reflected and you are going to face bad health issues and all these things still okay still you can go for uh, this auspicious mohurat and do some activities during this mohurat like taking medicines okay based on the mohurat that will tally with your horoscope okay preparations of medicines visiting doctors okay on the auspicious time so these all things actually reduces your malefic intensity present in your chart okay because you are rectifying your current activities understand this in terms of karmas okay so only way you can rectify your karma is by doing the current activity in a good manner it means by staying in the present and doing good karmas you can only create better future that is the only free will you have in your hand by staying in the past or doing remedies for the past things nothing you are not going to achieve anything so this mohurata is a kind of a branch which will tell you how to deal with the present situation how to do your karma in better manner so that you can achieve 100% success or maximum success in near by future okay so some people give uh, these kind of arguments okay mohurata shastra doesn't work why okay because they say that in ramayana i think vishwamitra or uh, which rishi has given the mohurata for the uh, coronation of lord rama vashishta rishi yes hari krishna ji sorry vashishta rishi okay so vashishta rishi given selected mohurata for the coronation of bhagwan ram okay raja abhishek at that particular moment uh, mohurat he went for the vanvasa he went to the forest i i hope everybody know this story okay then where is the mohurat here okay what is the use of this particular mohurat okay vashishta vashishta rishi is himself is a good uh, knower of jyotish okay he is one of the 16 rishis of uh, jyotish okay 
सोलह प्रवर्तक जो है ज्योतिष के उनमें से ये एक है वशिष्ठ तो इनका मुहूर्त कैसे फेल हो गया हाउ 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 कम दिस वशिष्ठ मुहूर्त फेल्ड सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस मुहूर्त इज ए वेरी वेरी पावरफुल मतलब दिस मच पावरफुल दैट क्या बोलते हैं कि भगवान राम को छोड़ी राम की जो पादुका थी उन्होंने अयोध्या पर राज किया सबको स्टोरी पता हो गया है है ना भगवान राव गद्दी पे नहीं बैठे बट भरत ने उनकी पादुका को रख के शासन किया था ओके विल रिपीट द सेम थिंग इन इंग्लिश इन रामायण एवरीबडी नो दैट भरत द ब्रदर ऑफ लॉर्ड रामा यूज टू कीप द पादुका और व्हाट वी कॉल पादुका स्लीपर ओके स्लीपर्स ऑफ लॉर्ड रामा ऑन द थ्रोन एंड ही यूज टू रन द किंगडम ओके शू यस शूज पादुका मीन शूज या वी कैन कॉल शूज so this particular murat is that kind of powerful that it will give authority or power to even shoes to run the kingdom okay so it all depends upon the uh, way how we look all these the incidents so that's why i'm saying murat is a very very powerful tool if you understand it in correct manner it is not only selecting the good time to perform action but it is selecting a good time that will tally with your horoscope and it will reduce malefic yogas present in your chart so that you can perform your action in better manner that's it so many people can also argue you know, like uh, nowadays modi ji is also choosing good murat for the uh, ram mandir pratishtha for filing the nomination but okay, still they are not getting majority so all these things we have answer for these things but let's not waste our time in discussing all these things maybe we can discuss some other day